What is the crack lads? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the survey. We're going to be doing this survey with E. Obviously we're going to be taking a look at this and doing it live. Um, so yeah, there was this survey. We are going to switch over to the PC in a second, but it was an eFootball 23 gameplay survey. So I haven't seen this yet. I don't really know what they're asking. I knew that it was coming, but I don't know um, what like questions or how deep they're going in it. So I'm going to be interested in that. But we are over here on the official uh, website for this. Um, I will leave a link in the description below because look, lads, we need to get our thoughts down on it. You know, if we're enjoying the game, we need to praise what we're enjoying. If we're not enjoying certain parts of it, um, you know, we definitely need to speak up about that because the game always can get better, right? So we are going to start with this uh, country of residence, Europe, and we are going to go with Ireland. There we go. Privacy notice. Yes, 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 yes. I always think of that South Park episode with the, the terms and conditions when I'm filling out these. But yeah, this is the survey. Please take a moment. We read all your responses. Any inquiries? Perfect. Right. So what is your age? She's very personal straight away, lads. Very personal straight away. Uh, next page. What country or territory do you currently live? Erlande. United Kingdom. Boom. Which platform do you play eFootball 2023 on? PlayStation 5? Yes. Which matchmaking filters search nearby? I don't really because I can never get a game, lads, being honest. How many matches did you play with eFootball 23? 11 or more. Uh, please choose one of the six rating levels for each question below. Select one answer for each question. Five satisfied, four somewhat satisfied, three neutral, two somewhat or one dissatisfied, and then strongly agree down to disagree, or strongly disagree, and then very good to bad, very bad. How satisfied are you with the ability to dribble as you intend? I mean, this for me, man, is a very good question, because I am actually really, like, enjoying the dribbling. Obviously, it can get better, but if the dribbling was to stay the way that it was, I would definitely be very, very happy with that. So I will say four, which I think is quite high, um, but I find that I'm a good dribbler, and I find that I'm usually able to do what I want to do and rip people apart, so... Dribbling feel, dribbles, how long, how do you feel natural? Again, a four, finding ways to dribble past the opponent and one is interesting and fun, how strongly. Uh, yeah, I would say that that's probably less because it's it's always, you know, one twos are probably more um, dominant that people use. So I would like to see the dribbling like just a little bit slower with the deft touches and stuff like that. Maybe I'm being a bit of a hypocrite here with the four and four, but to me, the dribbling feels fun. But I still feel that the situations that present themselves are very similar, if that makes sense. How would you rate the responsiveness of dribble commands when playing online matches against the when playing offline? Yeah, I would say that they're extremely good, man. Really, really good. Uh, how would you rate them? And then I'd probably say a three on that. How satisfied are you with the ability to pass the ball the way you intended? Again, I'm fairly happy with that. I was able to pass the ball to the player. How strongly do you agree with the statement? Sometimes. Um, yeah, it depends on the pass support level that you use, but I'll say a three for that. Ball physics for passes feel natural and realistic. How strongly? No, they need to improve, man, the ball physics. I think they need to improve a good bit, to be fair. The ball speed feels natural. Again, I'm probably I'm probably going to go uh, like a little bit less um, because I do feel that the speed, the speed is one that I really like. I need to like kind of, it's very hard to articulate exactly my points on it because I think that certain players should be able to pass the ball with player ID, you know, the likes of Busquets and Modric should be able to ping the ball rather than, you know, having a player without that player ID. How satisfied are you with the accuracy of one-touch passes? Um, well, I'm not satisfied with them because I think they're way too easy, man. I'd say that's probably why I won my, my one biggest frustration with it and the 180 passes. Yeah, like, I'm satisfied in that if I want to do one-touch passing, they're very accurate, but they're just way too accurate, man. They're way overpowered. How satisfied are you with the accuracy of true balls? I'd say fairly okay. How would you rate, re, re, how would you rate the responsiveness of pass commands when playing offline matches against online, uh, against the AI? Perfect. And I'd say the same for that one, just one down. How satisfied are you with the ability to shoot the way you intended? Yeah, shooting to me um, has never really been an issue, actually. I'm, I'm able to kind of, you know, shoot where I need to shoot. So I'm happy enough with that. Shooting controls are easy. Yeah, I would say I'd agree with that. I feel like I'm being very positive in this survey, man. The ball physics and animations for shots are realistic. I think the, the ball physics need need big work. Um, and I think the animations need a lot of work as well, definitely. I would I, I think it'd be a bit too harsh to go there, but I definitely would go there with that. How would you rate, rate the responsiveness of shot commands and playing offline matches against AI? Um, 
Yeah, responsiveness is fine. Responsiveness is fine. Um, I would say one less. Everything's going to be one less and offline, I think, being honest. So how satisfied are you with the ability to perform feints the way you intend? Again, that probably comes into the dribbling. I would say that I'm probably around there. How would you rate, re rate the responsiveness of feint, com feint commands? I'd probably go one above and then probably one below again. How satisfied are you with the variety of feints? Again, I just think that it's the same feints being used the whole time and the same trick moves. How satisfied are you with the ability to make traps and controls the ball the way you intended? Yeah, I'd say I'm okay with that. How satisfied are you with the realism realism of ball physics? As I've said up above, um, I think it should be really improved. How satisfied are you with the ability to defend the way you intended? Yeah, defending to me at the moment with VP, V2.2, apart from it still being a little bit handholdy, I'm happy with it, man. I'm happy with the defending. Apart from the stupid interceptions and the blocks and the bobbles and all that sort of stuff, um, for the two of them, defense controls are intuitive and easy to perform. How satisfied are you with the defense controls and their effects? Um, yeah, I'm just thinking here. Five, yeah, five is happy or whatever. How would you rate the responsiveness of defense controls when playing offline against the AI? Yeah, grand, and then one below for that. Uh, players will actively and aggressively fight for the ball. Yeah, I mean, I would agree with that. I would agree with that a lot. Uh, maybe not as much with V2.2, but in V2.1 it was bad. Uh, interceptions feel natural and realistic. <sighs> I can't go any higher than that, lads. I can't. I feel that Forrest are frequently not giving out in for plays where I thought they should have been. I'm tempted to say, yeah, I think the refs still need work, man. The, the refs still need a lot of work. I feel that fouls are frequently given for plays where referees should have waved play on. Um... Or, for example, minor collisions between players. How strongly do you agree with this? I think the one thing... Well, frequency is a different question, but I think the, there's a lot of issues with the collision system. So I'll probably go here with that or here. I can change the cursor to the intended player. Yeah, that's never a problem for me. How satisfied with your goalkeeper's abilities and movements? Offline? Not offline, it's like probably here. Online is probably about here because I do a lot of manual goalkeeper and it is responsive when you do that. So it depends your your skill level. I can notice a distinct play style. No, I don't really... I don't really, man. I believe that the that having an array of team tactics allow for a wide variety of enjoyable gameplay. How strongly do you agree with this statement? Um, for a wide variety, yeah, I'd say I'm probably there. Yeah, I mean, this I'm very satisfied with that. It's probably too overpowered, but it suits my out wide play style. So I'm going to be selfish and say that yeah, I mean, I don't really want them to change that too much. Uh, defensive, I would say, is probably around there. I feel that each AI controlled opponent acts according to his characteristics when on the ball. Well, I mean the play the the player ID is very lacking, so I can't say any more than that. You know, it it doesn't feel like you're controlling different re, like really different players. Oh, I need a cup of tea, lads. I need a drink. How satisfied are you with the way players grow tired as time goes on? No, I mean the the stamina needs to be overhauled massively. You can't be sprinting all game. How satisfied are you with the realism of player movement and animations? Actually, I'll go there. Uh, and animations during matches. Yeah, it needs to improve the animations. The presentation of gets me excited for the match. No, because I skip it. How satisfied are you with the pace? Well, I'll say, no, I'll say that it's not that bad, but it doesn't get me excited. You know what I mean? It's not like Christmas morning, man, when Santa comes. How satisfied are you with the pacing of offline matches against the AI? Very happy with that. How satisfied are you with the pacing? Again, I think it's a little bit too chaotic. Lags during online matches were within an acceptable... Yeah, I think so, man. I, I don't think that there was any lag that I suffered. Maybe what? You're talking about maybe 5% of games, like 5 out of 100 games, um, you know, which isn't too bad. Matchmaking time for online matches were in... Yeah, I would say that that's vastly improved. How satisfied are you with the realism of the spectators? I mean, that's shocking. Offline matches against the AI are entertaining. How strongly? Yes, I definitely do. I think that this is probably one of the best gameplay experiences... Uh, that I've played in a long, long time against the AI. Genuinely, I do feel that. PvP matches, yeah, again, one under neat that. Actually, do you know what, lads? I'm going to go with that because I have been enjoying eFootball 23 and I'm not going to apologize for enjoying it. Like, there's a lot of issues that I still need fixed with the game. But for me, my enjoyment comes out of being able to sit down and get an hour's entertainment or two hours entertainment. And eFootball is scratching that itch for me at the moment. How would you rate the usability of the map? Yeah, I mean, that's really bad, man. Really bad. Connection status shown during, I would say that's 50-50. Um, I was able, I would say, yeah, it's 50-50. I was able to insert this. Uh, yeah, stunning shot and stunning pass are fine. I felt the stunning pass was an effective kick, yes. Um, yeah, I would say that they're fairly decent, man. I definitely spread a lot of ball out. 
this is long this is long there was an error on your page please correct any and did i miss a question did i miss a question that is the question oh yeah how satisfied are you your current menu design i can't believe i missed that one lads boom worst ever Please share any other opinions you may have about the game. Do not provide any personal information. On the right track, lots of issues still remain, such as collisions, lack of edit mode, or long-term content as of yet. Um, would like to see... See, if we say responsiveness, man, it's tough because responsiveness means a lot of different things. Would like to see player ID more prominent. We appreciate you answering. All right, lads, so that is it for the survey. Let me know what you guys answered. Let me know if you disagreed or agreed with any of my points. And look, lads, at the end of the day, right, if you are enjoying the game, you're enjoying the game. If you're not enjoying the game, you're not enjoying it. That's, it's, it, you know, I'm kind of, at the end of the day, Pez is gone, man. Pez is not coming back. You know, the franchise in the series has moved on. They have a new audience. The game is free to play. They're pushing it in a way that it's going to be Dream Team centric until the offline modes come. Do I think Master League and Edit Mode will come within the next 12 months? Yes. Do I think that they will be very good when they come? I do. I honestly do think that they will take their time with it, especially because it's going to be an actual per paid purchase. And I do think that we will get to a level um, of like offline modes that we had before. But it's going to take time. And if that's for you, that's for you. If it's not for you, then, you know, fair enough. But uh, yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will be talking to you guys quite soon. Let me know if you fill out the survey. Peace.